holiday story right there and we're getting some not quite holiday weather but a lot of wet weather here in Seattle. More rain on the way tonight as we head into Sunday. Uh, Rebecca, if you're going to be out running errands, what, what time's the best way to avoid getting soaked? Well, most of us will just have a few showers around tomorrow. Tomorrow actually looks like a drier break, and we're beginning to see that dry break develop already for parts of western Washington to the north. Right now you're looking at that plume of moisture that's got a subtropical moisture tap, and it was just ushering in an atmospheric river. It's like a little river up in the sky, and it was focused on us, but now it's starting to drift southward, and you can see we've got drier conditions now over Seattle. Over to Port Angeles, it's drier, but we're just getting a new little round of rain there around the north coast and the west entrance to the strait, but otherwise you can see the heavy rain now from Olympia southward. That will continue to head south, and we'll get our drier break in here, but still a few showers for the uh, morning hours. As the daily rainfall totals show you, we have almost two inches of rain for Quileute, over an inch for so many spots, Hoquiam and Shelton. We've well over an inch, almost an inch and a quarter for Olympia. But Mount Vernon, zero. You're in the rain shadow. I don't think it's exactly zero, but looking here, so much water in the area, we can have an increased threat of landslides the next several days. And we definitely are watching all of our rivers and streams and creeks. Now, our wind advisory uh, to the north interior still intact for gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Otherwise, we are seeing uh, the wind slowly ease already. The atmospheric river dropping southward. That bright green arrows that's pointing towards northwest Oregon, that's where all this rain is going to be headed for the day tomorrow. So that's why we'll get a dry break because it's headed south. And our futurecast model shows that very nicely. We'll expect to see the drier break anywhere from, say, 10 a.m., Tomorrow morning, still some showers out there, but by 10 p.m. tomorrow night, it's going to start riding back up around the south interior and then track its way northward. And as it does that, the rain will be heavy at times again across Olympic Peninsula and some of our mountains. But the good news is that now, as we get into Monday, slowly but surely, our snow levels will crash down through the evening. So by 4 o'clock Monday, we're going to have the rain out there for certain. But notice that little bit of snow up around the North Cascades. We're going to have a lower snow level. It'll drop down to about 2,500 feet. So... Speaking of which, Snoqualmie Pass has just had rain. Stevens Pass has had that uh, six inches of snow, and now we're going to continue with some rain and snow showers in the mountains. But the higher snow amounts are going to focus on the South Cascades because that's where our moisture is heading. So temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, and we'll, uh, that's for you starting out in the morning hours. Mostly cloudy, a few sun breaks possible tomorrow with a high of 51 in Seattle, upper 40s to the low 50s elsewhere. And we'll, uh, again, see a dry break. It'll be nice. Because Monday morning, it's the rain all over again. And that winter solstice, it kicks in for first day of winter on Monday. And then, of course, we go into some dry weather. That's interesting. Go straight from some winter weather to winter to dry like summer weather. All right. I like it. Winter coming in right on cue. Thanks, Rebecca. Now